What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Dying Light, episode number. One second, what is it? 39 with me, Gaming Noob. <clears throat> Dying Light 2, by the way, in case anyone's curious. Not Dying Light 1. Definitely not Dying Light 1. No, sorry. Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. Wait, wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the Night Runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game here and now. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Okay, I'll do that. <clears throat> right in the buttocks. Go. Go. So mean. I wonder how we switch tools. Here we go. You received UV flashlight. It allows you to repel and weaken all infected volatiles or virals. <clears throat> to use the flashlight, equip with one and then press to hold and use it. Okay. Keep the infected within the UV light. Go until they fall to the ground. This makes them vulnerable. Okay. Oh, there it goes. I was like, why is it not working? Hey. Buddy, I'm coming to... You, you, you're supposed to have some lights up for me, friend? Think you could uh, manage that? <clears throat> Maybe? Probably not, huh? Wow, this man's got a lot of UV lights. Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt, Monsieur Reyna is not here. I can take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Reyna's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Now wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Reyna is well known as a connoisseur of the finer things in life. 
food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. I try, but no. I won't say. Matt's not going to be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Woman? <clears throat> it's not acceptable. In the one? Hayden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribed the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. Thank you? <clears throat> that sounds ominous. Why is that? Why does it have to sound ominous about me going to look for somebody? I don't like this. He must be annoying. But there's a lot of cool side quests in here. Too bad the game glitches so much that I don't care. It's quite sad. Hey, so there's this thing. No. Sorry. Well. <clears throat> a little too late for that now. I'm all the way over here. I'm trying to see if he can do that like wall thing again. The renegades for that. But he did not. Alright, it's night time. That's fine. Time to go. Hello, good boy. <clears throat> the closest one is 300 meters that way. That's actually quite surprising. <clears throat> I would not expect that to be the case. By the way, sorry about my throat today, guys. I cannot stop clearing it. I am having a struggle today. Easy little hop. Oh, that was cool. I liked that. That worked out much better than I expected. Why'd you do it if you didn't expect it to go well? Well, you know. Sometimes you just do stupid things, win stupid prizes, you know? Oh, I'm sure it is. What up, PK? You guys chill over there, I'll just keep running through here, try not to alert any of these annoying things. I saw a little uh, zip line up. Well, that went well. <clears throat> that went quite well. Thank you for backing me up. Knock knock. Juan Rainer. You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you. From Meyer and the commander. And my name's... I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang-up with the renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please, make yourself scarce. Oh, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can scent his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He hasn't an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. 
what can you offer me? Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim, but you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. Mm hmm All right, listen, I'm just trying to help. I, I need those lamps. <laughs> so the groveling and begging begins. My favorite part. You really need him? Or Jack? What'd he promise you? Look, you were supposed to deliver, and I was asked to make sure you do. And how do you expect to do that? Maybe bat your pretty eyelashes at me? I'm not saying you're not my type, because you are. But I need a reason to break Vinny's heart for someone else. So you have to try harder. Huh. Okay. <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. <laughs> Just punch him. You don't want to threaten him. Returning to more pressing matters. And what should we try next? Did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. I told you. Come see me back at my place. We'll talk. Okay. Where's your place at? Will the map tell me? <clears throat> oh, very close. Awesome. Extremely helpful. Let me guess. He scarfed down five horses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? No, a party. It's Daniel's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Daniel likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. Sounds good. Let's go find some fine art for this dick. That way? That way it is. <clears throat> No, I don't. I, I jumped. I didn't want it. Thanks. Come on. Start climbing before you run out of stamina. Keep climbing. Good job, buddy. You did what the game was built for. Sometimes he's good at what he does, huh? Sometimes. What a jump. Solid effort. So I wonder why I'm going to need a paraglider to get up to here. Oh, 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 that's so cool. I'm loving that I'm doing that now. That's actually really cool. All right, send me up. What the heck? Well, that didn't work out well at all, did it? That sucked. 
actually. All right, so I need to go in that direction. Don't fall. And, and jump when I ask you to jump would also be another good step that I would like you to do. Okay. Why aren't you climbing up? Thank you. Okay. Beautifully done. Not even halfway up to where we need to be. Wonderful. And did not have to climb up like that. But you know what? It worked, so. Oh, this worked well. Well, there we go. Perfect. Not high enough. Not quite perfect yet. Now perfect. Look at this piano. Piano's not precious art, sorry. The one? There's nothing left in here. Daniel said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking. Well, Daniel is probably just messing with me. Do you ever think about that, Luan? Sorry, but it seems there's a room for you in the helicopter after all. I'll try to send another. Don't worry, I have to save the collection of yours. He took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One romantic son of a bitch. That's kind of funny. Messed up, but kind of funny. 18th century town sketch, fields impressionism, still life with fruits, abstract lady with red hat, 19th century shepherd, 16th century. Ah, oh, a list of what he took, it seems. Juan would be pleased. Voice message from 5.36 p.m. Mr. Bukowski, your transport is en route to you. The art collection should be on the roof already. As soon as the chopper is over the city, we'll call again. The Juan, I think I found his stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to have to sneak through something. Yeah. Uh. Don't think he made it. Ah, fuck. There aren't any paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Open this up. Hey, Luan. Found our collector. But no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So you still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Okay, I'll go there. And listen, that vodka, Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. Okay. <clears throat> Optional. Okay, fine. We'll go talk to Denoir. Whatever his name is. Danny boy, oh Danny boy. Man, I want to get to one of the top of those, one of those big towers and do this, but it just seems like that would be a lot of effort. There we go. Nice little way to get my stamina back right quick. And then we just glide along. Such easy gliding. Oh, nailed it. Sometimes you're just good enough at climbing, you know? 
Sometimes. I'm just going to the fish eye, man. Are you guys partying on the roof? Thank you for backing me up. Five years ago, everything would have been simpler. Where am I? Why did you I worried less back then. Almost. Are you guys really on the roof? Hey, what's up? Happy birthday, Daniel. Oh, so you have come after all. Yeah, here, a little something to celebrate another year on the planet. What do you want from me, Gacho? What do you mean? What do you need? Why the gift all of a sudden? But the one said it's your birthday, so I thought you... I understand the concept of a birthday gift. To get it said in a wall. Yeah, uh, okay, uh, listen, happy birthday. Uh, lost the bet. But at least I have something to cheer me up. Well, bet? Never mind. Lavon is at the bar. <laughs> that's not, I guess that's a bar, sure. Aiden! You came! You invited me. <laughs> Didn't you want me here? Let me get a bottle so you can catch up with us. Hey, Ro? Off duty, hmm? Uh, listen, you know how stressful things can be sometimes. You get your orders, they don't make any sense. You're fighting the clock to get shit done. Oh, I feel you, trust me. So, you made it. Luan won. Who won? Is this about some bet? Yeah, with Daniel. She was sure you'd come. Him, not so much. It's almost as if it mattered to her. That's unusual. Here, Aiden. Drink. Nicholas's finest booze. We were about to play a game. No, Luan, we weren't. Come on. I'm out. Yeah, count me out. Too drunk already. Too a drunk already. Losers. <laughs> Aiden, are you playing? Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. My man. Rules are simple. You either answer an awfully personal question about yourself, or you must perform the dare. Okay, wait, so if I don't want to answer the question... I get to pick the dare. You wish. We decide whether it's a truth or dare. If you don't do as you're told, you drink. <laughs> so, have you slept with anyone in Villador? Not that I can remember. No. Are you for real? <laughs> well, maybe the guy has standards. Fall in love first and all that crap. Yeah, good luck with that. Not everyone is like you, Ro. Okay, your turn. I want to hear you play. Fuck off. Wait, what do you mean play? I'll drink. Forget about it. You play an instrument. Never mind. I drank. Moving on. Rose she used to play the ukulele. Really? Guys, moving on. Aiden, you play for Ro and... I dare you to ask Ro to sing. It's awful. There. Let's hear those pipes, Ro. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you asked for it. You're my ragamuffin. You might think I'm tough and all. But I always have a ball with you. Woo, 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 woo. You're my ragamuffin. I know it's just a silly name, but you set my heart aflame. It's true. Good Lord, shoot me. Shoot me dead before I have to hear another note. Wow, man, that was, that was something. It was bad. Okay, enough of this. Anything you want to ask the master assassin here? I always wondered about that hit list. Shut up, Ro. It's not your turn. Oh, yeah, the, the hit list. 
How did it start? With a bastard who had to pay for what he did. It started with one. Then there was another one. And then a whole bunch of them. But who was the first one? That's another question. Drink. No. He's just making you answer the first one. Who cares what he asked? It started way before that. When I escaped from Waltz. Frank helped me. He showed me that there's something else I can do with all my anger. Back then, I thought I'd join them. Be a night runner someday. Ugh. Who was I kidding? They were wiped out at the VNC Tower. Frank lost almost everyone. Night runners fell. Frank started to drink, gave up on life, on himself. <laughs> so, I'm not a night runner. But at least I have my list. <sighs> Good night. Did I ask the wrong question? That's the beauty of this game, Pilgrim. Sooner or later, you get to the wrong question. I'll see you soon, I guess. Oops. Got any more booze? No? Gadjo! Here you are! Thank you! Thank you for the vodka! Thank you! Let's drink! For me! And another year in this shithole! Let's do it! <clears throat> You're not the worst, you know. Why, are you finally warming up to me? Nah, it just means there are worse assholes. And that I'm drunk. Where's Levan? I saw her with you. Now we played the game, and I asked the wrong question. How the hit list started. <sighs> gotcha, gotcha. You got her thinking about the past. Listen, and I'm not telling you this because I like you. I don't even fucking know why I am telling you this. But never, never ask Levan about her past. You get it? Good. Now, get lost. It's my birthday. It is your birthday, Daniel. It is your birthday. Alright, guys. Well, that seems like a pretty good spot to call it. We probably gotta, we gotta save right there, so that's always nice. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace! Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. If you want to see more, check out this video down here. Thank you so much for watching. Peace!